my god, I just wanted to make this scene so long and I'm really happy that I did it. I wanted to show you quickly one part of my closet that is completely full and I am not using it, so I want to change it today. As you can see, it's completely full and most of those dresses are, some of them I made, some of them I bought a long time ago. But the important point is that most of them are more formal dresses, so I don't really get too much wear out of it. So that's why I'm going to make something practical but cute. Today I'm gonna try make this kind of like a loungewear set. I find it not only comfortable and practical but also so kind of cute and uh, chic so I think it will be good outfit to wear in and out of the house as well and this is exactly what I need as for the pattern for the top part I used exactly the same pattern as I used for my pajamas I will link the video over here you know it's just a simple pattern for the shirt that I found in one of my sewing magazines and for the shorts I basically copied this pair of shorts that I already had at home, as you can see, really basic with the elastic waistband. But I will link the free pattern for you from Fabric Store. This is a, like a pyjama set. You just need to shorten pants and for the top part, for the shirt, I had to do exactly the same thing with my pattern and that's basically to drop uh, the shoulders a little bit. All my pattern pieces are already cut out. It should be fairly simple today, so I guess let's just start. By the way, if you like the dress that I'm wearing and you are new here, I will also link the video here so you can go and watch it. Uh, I think I did it like one year ago. Finally, the weather is nice enough to wear it again. Still love it as much as I did last year. The first step will be to sew the pocket on. I have four pieces. I don't know if you are able to see it, but it's pinned over here. I have to do it on each uh, piece, two front, two back pieces. I just need to sew from the beginning of the pocket until the end. So I went ahead and I already made one so I can show you how it will look like. So this is the front side of the back piece. All the pockets are sewn on the back and front pieces. The next step will be to sew the crotch line of the back and front. I will simply place them right sides facing like so. So these are two back pieces, okay? Not front and back, back and back. And I will sew this line and I'm going to do the same thing with the front. But as you can see, the front has this weird shape over here and that basically creates like a faux zipper fly, which you can usually find on men uh, sweatpants and you can easily adjust your pattern at home as well as you can see this is the original line so this would be pattern without and I just went ahead and I draw this kind of shape and I cut both fronts with this flap overlock the seam in the center. But before I put them together, I just need to do one important detail. Basically do the top stitching over here to make a nice detail of this faux fly. And uh, then I will be ready to sew front and back together. it looks like so far. I'm quite satisfied with the outcome and one of the last things that we have to do, that I have to do, join this waistband with the shorts and then I will sew in elastic. Hi 
guys, as you can see, it's another day. Yesterday I finished short. It was very quick, very easy, basically no issues there. But first, I would like to show you something that is very helpful. So I hope you can see it now. It has a thread running uh, through the middle of it. So this will actually prevent uh, any stretching of the fabric. And also it's really easy to iron on curvy edges. I will link the shop where I got it from in the description. I'm not affiliated with them, they don't know about me, so just just to inform you. As you can see, I already pinned a uh, pocket in place. Very simple. And now let's just sew it on both front pieces. Let's do color now. As you can see, I have two pieces. One is interfaced and the other one is not. As usual, I will place them right sides facing and sew from this point all around until here. By the way, I put these nice flowers here so you have something pretty to look at. By the way guys, I have one tip for you. As I was showing you at the beginning, I was adjusting a little bit the shoulders and uh, I didn't know how to do it at first and usually when it's something not too much complicated, I go to Pinterest, I type what I want and usually I find a lot of drawings of uh, pattern pieces, how they look like, the shapes, sometimes also how it's done. So if you didn't know about this option, go ahead to Pinterest and use it also for pattern and making because it already helped me a couple of times. I think I can go ahead now and sew the back piece with the front pieces. Yeah, like so, right side facing. But first I'm just going to sew shoulder seams. By the way, I will link this fabric uh, also in the description because I have a feeling that some of you could be interested in this specific fabric because personally I was really struggling to find something like that. Uh, cotton, elastic, with this type of texture. So link is there if you are interested. I think they have a couple of different uh, colors as well. I hope it's not sold out. So I'm going to do sleeves now. Uh, but some of you might be wondering why am I using fusible interfacing for stretchy fabric since this two-piece set is completely like oversized, is nothing is really like tight on skin. Uh, that's why I decided that I think it would be possible to do it uh, and I will not run into any issues. As soon as you are going to make something tight, that's another story. <laughs> Also, I haven't washed this fabric yet, so I don't know how it will hold up through the washing. But I also found out recently, if you have on your washing machine program for wool and you will wash your t-shirts on this program, like normal jersey t-shirts, you know, you will be surprised how much longer they will hold up. Also, the color and the shape is just really gentle cycle. I have been doing that recently and I'm just going to do the same thing with this set. Just another little tip from me. This is how it looks like so far. I'm quite satisfied with it, except the length of the sleeve. But uh, now I'm going to just turn it like this, inside out. Just pin it all and sew it with my overlock. Dogs are barking outside. They are doing some constructions. Ah, the life is amazing in the city, right? So anyway, I'm going to ignore it. Now I think I will do the color. Actually, no. You know what? I think I'm going to sew these first and then I'm going to do color. Right side facing. Now I'm going to sew from here until the end. Okay, so finally I finished the color. 
looks like this. I have to say I did a couple of mistakes because it's been a long since I saw color. Nothing complicated, this is by the way one of the most simple shirts that you can make but I just didn't do it since long so if you are interested to see the more detailed video I have a couple where I made the color so I will also link them in the description. Basically when I was doing this part I supposed to sew it just until here not all the way up but as I said more details will be in the videos and now I want to teach you how to finish nicely the bottom of the shirt so the first thing uh, if you have an overlock machine great if you don't have just use some overlock stitch or zigzag stitch on your normal machine I'm going to do this right now all the way also with this facing so now that the edge is overlocked we are looking now at the right side so I will simply fold facing on the shirt so that they are right sides facing and I will sew from here until the end of facing with the seam allowance 2 or 3 centimeters depends how much you want to hem it and so now when you turn it like so you can cut a little bit of fabric here so that you have nicer corner so as you can see the hem is folding by itself so you will just give it a nice straight stitch all the way and then you have really nice finish from inside and also from outside we can move on to buttons and i cannot be happier today because I'm not going to make any buttonholes, I'm just going to use this snap buttons instead. I got this from Amazon, I will link it below if you are also interested. There was also the machine in it, so very grateful for that, that I don't have to buy it separately. And uh, basically I have any color that exists. I don't want to make any statement with these buttons. I will put you closer so you can see how it's done. So you have basically these main buttons, then you have female and then you have male button. For each of these you need one main button. So I'm going to take one of these, just press it through the fabric, take this part, put it on and then take this thingy. I have to say this one is probably not the best quality but I don't care as long as it's going to work. Now let's hope that it will work. Okay, so one button is on. On the other side we have to do the same thing but with a female a button because on this one I was putting the male so always on the other side have to be the opposite one and also the difference is that this time I'm going to place this main button down like so so that female part will be here. So guys it's done it's finished it really didn't take too much time and it was really really easy look at the pattern that i linked for you because this will be perfect for this project and if you want to have it a little bit more oversized then just go ahead and choose the bigger size also drop shoulders you don't have to do what i did but if you like this look uh, trust me it's not so complicated to adjust the pattern i myself cannot be more satisfied it is exactly how i wanted it to be and it didn't happen to me since long so this is how the shorts turned out this is the top oh my god i just wanted to make this since so long and i'm really happy that i did it i think it will be perfect to wear it on the beach in the evening and i'm super super excited so now i will go put it on and i will show you how it turned out thank you guys by the way for watching see you next week bye